We all know that Conquest is a necessary evil in Galaxy of Heroes. CG has chosen this game mode to be the exclusive initial access rights to some of the most powerful characters in the game. I'm talking about the likes of Cat that completely transformed the PvP meta, but she also is able to elevate other B-grade teams to perform things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. We're talking about the likes of the Razor Crest, who, without it, without it, the executive fleet simply is a shadow of its actual self. We're talking about Maul. I mean, what is Lord Vader without Maul? Maul itself forms a team of Mandalorians that is able to punch up incredibly high and is able to take down some really, really powerful teams. We're talking about Scion of... J well, no, Scion of Django, we can more or less forget about. Rip. Sorry, Van Seal. And now we are getting the likes of Ben Swolo. The point I'm trying to make is this, guys. If you want to remain to be competitive, if you want to get the most out of your teams, you have to get Conquest done. The problem is, CG has slowly turned this game mode, which was initially a fun and engaging game mode that we could use our entire rosters and have a bit of fun with, into something... Well, let's be honest. It's a downright chore, and it's grindy. I need how many wins? 40 resistance, 40 first order, 24 versions of Kylo or Rey, 20 with veteran smuggler Han Solo and crew. So in today's video, I am going to discuss five things that I would change about Conquest that would make the game mode just so much more enjoyable and hopefully cut out on that burnout and that apathy that a lot of the Galaxy of Heroes players are experiencing right now. My name's Scribe, and let's get into this. Coming in at number one is data disk management. I know this one isn't sexy, but the data disk management currently implemented in the system leaves so much to be desired. There is no way for us to check and compare our data disks in our own inventories without hold clicking on it. Why is there no means for us to be able to see the name, to see the effects of each data disk on that one page? Give us a means to properly see all this information without having to hold click on it and scroll through a tiny little box each time, CG. I beg of you, make it so that we can filter these data disks based on their rarity, based on their abilities, based on all this sort of stuff. We know the technology is in place. We can already do a lot of this for mod management. Not that I'm saying that mod management is perfect. You know that there's a problem when a third party tool does the job better than your own game does. Yes, I'm looking at you, hot utils. Big shout out, my brother. Coming in at number two, I'm talking about feats. Everybody knows that the real problem, the real grind with this game, particularly in Conquest, is the feats. CG has taken away fun and enjoyable challenges from this game and has instead implemented something that is both grindy and boring. You don't want both of those things. You can have something that's grindy and well, it's still fun to do, or you can have something that is not grindy but is boring to do. Have you guys ever googled what the definition of the word feat is? Well, I have. It goes a little something like this. Feat. Noun. An achievement that requires great courage, skill, or strength. Now, does that really apply to the feats that we see in Conquest? For the most part, I'd say no. If CG wrote the dictionary on how would you describe a feat, it would go something like this. Feat. Something used to artificially extend the lifespan of a game mode and force spending on the player base and cause supreme boredom. The point I'm getting at is this, guys. Nobody wants to sit down and complete 40 battles with resistance over a two-week period whilst also trying to complete 40 battles with, fort, uh, with First Order over a two-week period whilst also trying to make sure that they win 40 battles or 20 battles with a full team of Rey or Kylo whilst also trying to fit in wins with Kylo Ren unmasked and veteran hat smuggler Han Solo whilst also trying to get 100 kills with Kylo Ren or OG Kylo Ren unmasked. I know that didn't come out completely right, but you get the drift. You can make feats that are engaging, that are difficult to achieve, require skill and strength, and feel like you've achieved something when you do it, instead of just feeling like you have to log into Conquest every single day and re wear down the stamina on your characters and bang your head against the wall because in this sector you can't use tanks and in this sector you can't use attackers and in this sector you've got to throw salt over your left shoulder, blink twice and pay 
CG your retirement money? I, I don't know. CG, please take a look at your feats. We can do feats that are engaging and fun and still require the player base to engage with the game mode without feeling like they're just being forced artificially to completely buy the conquest pass and reuse the same teams. This game mode was supposed to say, you know, use your entire roster, have some fun, reward players that have got big and expanded rosters. Don't make things like required, like unlock requirements. Do you happen to have geared up your first order or your resistance? If not yet, shit out of luck. Sorry, son. Make it fun, CG, please. As for number three, and this one is a particular desire of mine, trading in of data disks. Many feats in Conquest, obviously riffing off item two, require or are made easier by having particular data disks in your inventory. If you've got things like Unstable Decelerator, if you've got things like Amplify Agony, or if you've got things like um, Volatile Accelerator, or if, you know, any number of things, it makes the game mode easier to achieve what you have to do. Do you remember me talking about feats? It's like, present the challenge and make it enjoyable to complete that challenge. Data disks make it fun for us. It's, it's what makes it possible and gives us less of a headache doing it. So you can battle through the entire conquest path and you can go down the hard conquest path to give yourself additional options for more data disks, but ultimately data disks within everybody's conquest track are randomized. There's no guarantee that you will find the data disk that you enjoy doing or the data disk that you want to try and get. I feel like CG need to go a step further. Give us the option to go into our inventories and either compile our unused data disks and perhaps re-roll them or change them for any data disk that we want. Obviously, they would be re within reason. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to trade in these two common data disks and get myself an epic four dot data disk every single turn. It should be a like for like or even a trade down. Give us the option to perhaps pay crystals or pay conquest currency to buy data disks from a data disk store, make them all available, give them a price and let people build out their data disk roster. Because otherwise it's just adding a layer of frustration that I feel does not belong in this game. Give us the flexibility to choose our data disks so that we can have fun. So before we go on to our next item, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video so far. Really appreciate you guys. If you could just take a little second, go down there and hit that like button, maybe hit the subscribe button as well. Stay notified of everything that I'm putting out. It really mean a great deal. It's hard work trying to make some progress on, uh, on YouTube. I tell you that for nothing. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Big love. Now, item four on the agenda, the next correction I would make is everybody's favorite topic, and that is Datacrons. Yep, I said it, Datacrons, ladies and gentle beans. Now, stop me if you haven't heard this one before, but Datacrons, on offense, they're actually quite enjoyable. They're actually quite fun. Who doesn't enjoy doing stuff like this? Hmm? Am I right? That's pretty cool. Who doesn't enjoy, you know, absolutely wrecking face with Datacrons and not letting your opponent take a turn? It's fantastic. It's in the PvP element, though, when you face them on defense. That's a whole other different matter. CG, however, can flip this on their head. Make Datacrons available in Conquest. Let us use Datacrons in Conquest. I'll say it again for the people in the back. CG! Let us use Datacrons in Conquest so it's not so mind-numbingly boring. As far as I'm concerned, I would much rather use Datacrons in areas such as Conquest, in areas such as TB, than to be forced to face them in TW and in GAC. Let me use it in Conquest and I will be so much happier. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Scribe, you are such a hypocrite. In your last video, you spoke exactly about why Datacrons are bad for this game. And I still stand by that statement. This, this was fun, but it's also terrible for the game and it should not exist in a PVP environment. I stand by those guns. Go check out my video. It's up over here. Go and check that out and let me know what you think over in that video. Spreading some of that love. 
the last thing that I would say needs to be changed about Conquest is this. The modifiers for some of these battles are asinine. I'm looking at you, overprepared 14,000. Nobody wants to go ahead and face off against a team that has got 80% additional speed on top of another mod modifier that gives them an extra 25% speed. How is that fair? We cannot... Well, I, I don't care about fair. How is that useful to us? We can't use that knowledge anywhere else in the game. It only applies to Conquest mode. You know, nowhere else will you have Phoenix, Sabine, Ren hitting 15,000 times and killing your GL before it takes a turn. It only applies in Conquest. It doesn't give us knowledge, and it's certainly not fun to face off against. You know, nobody wants to face off against Ewoks and have yourself stunned the entire battle, irresistibly stunned the entire battle because you attack out a turn. Let, let's get some let's get some modifiers to those matches that are actually you know enjoyable and require a little bit of thought, not just pure frustration. A team having eighty percent max health and speed is not it's not like a thought piece of oh how do I beat this team? No, it's a case of you know you go in with CLS and you kill them before they take a turn. You know that's not a challenge. That's just dumb. And you don't need every single team to have the same um, modifiers to them. Have a little bit of um, creativity around these. Expand on it instead of reusing the same rather dull and just frankly unfair modifiers. Let's have some bit, bit more fun in these guys. What do you think? And I think that's going to about wrap it up for this video. I know it was a bit of a different one, but hey, why not do a little bit of a thought piece from time to time? If this video format is enjoyable to you, please do let me know in the comments section down below. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Hit that like button. Subscribe to your boy Scribe. I really want to know your thoughts on Conquest. How would you fix this game mode? And if it does involve just setting a fire and walking away, so be it. All right, guys, until the next video. Peace out. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons, I appreciate each and every single one of you, and without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.